I once read a quote somewhere that said, porn addicts are not using porn to escape. They're using porn to overcome a craving beyond their mental control. So you've tried to quit porn and you failed several times. You're not alone. By my estimation, hundreds of thousands of men have tried and will continue to try and fail dismally in the years to come. Search online and you'll find hundreds of men in different forums documenting their journeys to quit porn. You'll be hard pressed to find a handful of men who've stayed off pornography for more than three years. Research shows that your porn adult brain has the ability to rewire itself and return you to a state of grace which existed prior to your porn addiction. What research does not explain is why, despite the fact that you rebooted, if you are exposed to porn again for a certain period of time, you promptly become addicted again. The true test of whether you have quit porn is your level of what I call equanimity towards it. What this means is that you can view porn without having any sexual reaction towards it. Scenes that turned you on either elicit reactions ranging from disgust to compassion for the porn actors or actresses to an absolute lack of reaction. Any sexual reaction that occurs within you is 100% within your control and you know it. To understand why you may never quit porn, we have to briefly go back to the basics of porn addiction. Now, the characteristics of porn addiction are, firstly, an overpowering desire or need, a compulsion to continue viewing porn and to gain access to it by any means necessary. Next is a tendency to increase the amount or variety of pornography we watch over time. Also, a psychological and physical dependence on the effects of porn and a detrimental effect to you as an individual and to society. Porn addiction is both a psychological and a physiological addiction coupled with a main characteristic, which is an irresistible urge to compulsively seek out and watch pornography. Now, in my personal struggle to quit porn for over a decade, I've discovered that unless you thoroughly understand the underlying cause of your porn addiction, you will be addicted to it indefinitely, regardless of how many times you try to quit or reboot. One of the often overlooked situations among those quitting porn is that they have a tendency to replace their addiction with another one when porn is no longer available. This is regardless of whether they quit for a month or for a year. Notable replacements for porn have been prostitutes, anonymous sex, browsing for anonymous sex online, masturbation, or erotica. What this proves is that the problem with quitting porn is not the chemical process involved, but also your reaction to it. Porn addiction does not come from pornography. It comes from you, your situation, and your search for a particular experience. When you initially watch porn, it's a very pleasant experience, right? It gives you the feeling of being relieved from anxiety, when in reality, those things in your life which cause anxiety grow more and more severe in proportion to your continued porn use. So here's the progression of your porn addiction. First of all, porn addiction starts as a very pleasant experience and you end un avoid unpleasant experiences in your life while pursuing the awesome sensations you get from watching porn. It truly becomes an addiction when the experience stops being pleasant, but you instead increase its intensity by watching more risque scenes such as violent porn, rape theme porn, gay porn if you're straight, and even stuff involving animals. Now, Next is that porn addiction becomes a lifestyle. By lifestyle, I mean it becomes repetitive, it becomes habitual, it becomes routine and repetitive. Porn addicted men and women gradually begin to question their ability to set goals and create positive results in their life. When you do not believe your efforts to set and achieve life goals will be rewarded, you quit and give yourself the only reward now available in your life, more pornography. Next. Due to the new lifestyle you've created, which includes maintaining an online or offline porn stash, as well as memberships to porn sites, your behavior slowly begins to spill over to other areas in your life, such as your family, your social circle, and other parts of your life and society. You're paranoid when your family uses your computer or picks up your phone. 
your relationship and sex life deteriorates, you can't have platonic friendships with someone from the opposite sex or a girl without fantasizing about having anal sex with her or coming on her face. You start looking for ways to act out the scenes you see you see online by soliciting prostitutes or engaging in anonymous sex. What happens next is that all of these activities eventually clash with the values in which you were raised. So as a result, you develop strong feelings of self-loathing and guilt associated with watching porn or, and masturbating, which causes you to rely even more heavily on porn. So basically, you've created this vicious cycle which keeps perpetuating itself to infinity. So what does this progression mean? It means that your porn addiction is a compulsive and obsessive over-dependence which affects all aspects of your, of your life of physical, emotional, psychological, and social. It means that a one-dimensional treatment strategy is not enough to help you quit. And by one-dimensional, I mean using feats of willpower or abstinence to like stop over a period of 30 or 90 days. Recovery from porn addiction has to be based on a system that will take all aspects of your life into consideration. The best system for this would deal with porn addiction from three perspectives, which is what the Porn Reboot program that we offer does. Firstly, porn addiction changes your personality and character so subtly that you have no idea how much you've actually changed. First of all, you have to be motivated to believe that whatever it is that is missing from your life, which caused you to turn to porn, can be gained again. You have to believe that you can truly be happy without porn. Counseling, of course, or coaching can help at this point. Secondly, porn addiction is best treated at its deepest level. Some people get addicted to porn and some don't. Whatever it is that lies deep within you that causes your repeated compulsive addiction, your lack of self-control and continued porn use in spite of negative consequences has to be eradicated. Those deep-rooted psychological flaws have to be removed. This eliminates the occurrence of a relapse forever, permanently. Thirdly, quitting porn requires a support system that takes care of you after you go through the first and the second step that I just listed, that I just mentioned. Providing guidance during the process of adjusting back into society. Now this is where rebooting or abstaining from porn, masturbation, or orgasm for a certain amount of time becomes useful. Most men skip the first and second step and they dive straight into the willpower themed action without discovering the true cause of their addiction. And this leads to a long cycle of quitting and relapsing. To truly quit porn, you have to eliminate it at the root. The root lies deep within your mind. Getting rid of the root the root cause of your porn addiction cannot ever happen by changing your outer circumstances or by acts of great willpower. It only happens in a methodical manner, finding the psychological cause that drives you towards your porn addiction and then getting rid of it. Doing this accomplishes two things. Number one is you permanently eliminate your need to watch porn and you actually increase your happiness by realizing that the power to completely eliminate your addiction and habits at their root lies in your hands. It's a very powerful tool for navigating life. And that's exactly what we do in the Porn Reboot program. I'd like you to check it out at www.pornreboot.com.